Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamama Har here back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakak Badash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the truth from GMS. Blessings to the Akim Adair preaching his word with whole sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. The house of David, that would that would die. And Shalom to brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking at different nations. Uh, so today, brothers, man, you know, I've been, um, you know, meditating on the kingdom and, um, you know, the one of the key things um, that we're looking for to be changed is that, you know, to be to have that title of the 144,000, man. That is like the ultimate dream for me, man. And I am shit. I, I, I'm willing to bet uh, a lot of brothers as well, you know, as far as, um, you know, um, you know, uh, it's sincere and it's truth. But like, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, like I, like I was saying in my other videos, you know, I, like I have a really weak fathom, fathoming type of, um, you know, ability in my mind to understand things, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying like, for example, like to be a part of the 144,000 is just like the most greatest dream you can never go for now when you think about it man there's 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 going to be millions and millions and millions of the 144,000 right i mean i'm so like it uh, of israelites but there's only 144,000 special men you know that's going to be the government body alongside with yahweh shah now that right there is what you would call just like through a concept that's like making it to the nfl and there's only actually 1,800 players at a time on a 52-man roster out of all 32 teams, if I'm not mistaken. There's 1,800 players at a time. And there's millions and millions of athletes who try to make it there, right? Well, you got 12,000 out of every tribe from, and I'm going to read it down too, because I'm, you know, for the sake of the, the edification, you know, I'm just going to read it down, but this is Revelations. Seven. Okay, so Revelation seven, and shoot, I'll just kind of just read it down. But you know, I might call this video "Spiritual Thoughts," "Spiritual Thoughts on the 144,000." You know what I'm saying? Because this this is the the greatest dream in human mankind history. Well, at, at, at least as far as, as far as being a, a Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian, if you're if you're a, if you're a man, and you are and you are one of those people, and you are been you are blessed with the knowledge and understanding through the Holy through the Holy Spirit from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the not the, the knowledge and understanding of his ministry, and you're actually teaching it, and actually putting videos up and on the highways and hedges teaching this stuff, you are literally priming and putting yourself in a really good position to become one of these special men now you gotta look at it like this the 144,000 is going to be up is going to be on a level far greater than anything you know you're going to have your typical israelite they're going to have powers they're going to be immortal you know and they're going to be well off you know what i mean they're going to have the the law set your commandments into their inward parts you know and they're going to be well off i mean the, all the blessings are going to be on them they're going to be well off like i just keep on saying they're going to be in a very good position and hey they're also going to be an israelite you know what i'm saying now if you part of the elect now the elect is different the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven those are the ones that are going to be standing not standing standing because you gotta look at it like this it's levels it's levels to this so there's going to be you're, you're like I, i'm willing to bet and i and i know i'm right uh, because you got you know like in Matthew it says uh if you break if you break least of these commandments you shall be you, you shall be uh considered least into the kingdom so I'd like just giving you an indication that there's going to be levels of of you know, not, not, not just just because you're the least in the kingdom you know what I mean don't mean you're not gonna don't mean you're not gonna be you know popping like you're gonna be rich you're gonna have money you're gonna have land you know you're gonna be all right as an Israelite uh but but you're gonna be one of the least ones and and shoot if you're not striving to be the best why do it at all you know what i mean like my brother Ariel will really talk about this he will say uh, um you know shoot 144,000 or nothing i i totally get why he's saying that if you gotta you gotta, you gotta be around the brother you gotta you gotta be able to receive what he's saying 
you know that is the best that that is the best you can go for and and, and, and that's the and that's the application that brothers are putting are, are putting in you know what i mean to be part of the elect the 144,000 now you got your men, women, and children. That's that's gonna that's believers and everything like that. Great, you know they believed in the truth. They 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 they, they also knew they were Israelite. They're keeping the law, said the commandments, best of the ability. And I guess it just wasn't their lot to be a prophet. Okay, and they believed in it. They didn't take the chip, and and they they really rocked out and tried their best, and the, and the, the, may the Lord deliver them. You know what I mean? Um, Lord willing, right? But um, the hundred forty four thousand man. Listen, man, these brothers are going to be on the same vibration as Yahweh Shah, not equal to Yahweh Shah. We're going to be under Yahweh Shah. But I'm talking about as far as in a joint air. You know what I mean? When you see Yahweh Shah, you, you see Yahweh Shah is going to be Yahweh Shah, and, and he's, a, he's, the, he's the top judge, he's the top, top, top angel, he's the top dun da of the whole situation on the right hand side of Yahweh. Boom. And then you got, you're going to have King David. And then you have the 144,000 along with the apostles and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are going to be the dun daughters. The same body that Yahweh Shah has, we're going to have that same makeup. And whatever glory and whatever, how, however these, these, these 144,000 men are going to look, they're going to be crowned as kings and top rulers and judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Hey, listen, that's the top spot. If you want to, if you, if you go, if you in this truth, you should be striving to be one of those guys. And if you not, I don't know what you're doing. I have no idea what you're doing. It says, Revelation 7. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four, wing, four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he, he cried with a loud voice, to the four angels whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power Yahweh in their foreheads right now in order for this chaos to go down that we know of Jacob's trouble um, you know uh, 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 you know World War 3 the chip on the way Esau coming like a flood great slaughter and even when Yahweh Shah comes back, um, as far as the best prophecy, that's going. As a, that, that's I, I, I agree with uh, uh, Apostle Gabara as an opinion. Uh, that is the best. That is the greatest prophecy um, out of the whole book is, is the return of Yahweh Shah. I mean, I mean, hey, you, you, I mean, hey, brothers might you know, you know, call it say the kingdom or whatever. But hey, ain't none of that happened until Yahweh Shah come on the scene. So, uh, but, but before all this stuff goes down, I think like Apostle Tahar would say. The 144,000 can already be, you know, very much be our, you know, pretty much at the at the tail. 99.9% .9 of the situation should be already almost uh, pretty much sealed. But when that does happen, that's when all this, all, 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 all 144,000 are sealed. That's when all the stuff, all, the, all these prophecies like Jacob Trouble and things get really real. It says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed 144,000. Of all the tribes of the of the children of Israel, of Israel. Now, while while you're in this ministry, to be one of these twelve thousand, I mean, you gotta look at it like like a lottery pick. You know, I mean, a, a draft pick. This is a spiritual draft pick going on. Now, granted, it doesn't matter what number you are. Like how, like you know, like 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 brothers be wanting to be the first round, a first round draft pick, which is the, the elite of the the draft pick, and that's the big, the, they get the top money, um, and then you know they get the they're 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 more they're they're what you call the first fruits of the of the the first fruits of the NFL draft, as far as the most val val valuable guys, um, uh, of the draft, you know what I mean? So you're a first rounder, that, that's something big. That's like the hundred and forty four thousand of football. Okay, right. Just kind of just you know putting that into perspective, and so it don't matter if you you know oh you're the a thousand a thousand and ninety eight pick out of twelve thousand of the tribe of Manasseh, you just want to be one of them guys like just out of twelve thousand, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to be one of those one of those picks. If you was a eleven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pick. Cool, or you've the twelve thousandest pick of the tribe of Judah, Asher, Nephtali, whatever. You just want to be one of those picks. 
It don't matter what 12,000 you in. You just want to be one of them. That's the whole gif of this thing. It says, of the tribe of Judah were 12,000. Tribe of Reuben, 12,000. The tribe of Gad sealed 12,000. The tribe of Asher, 12,000. The tribe of Nepha uh, Nephitalim, 12,000. Tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. Simeon, 12,000. Levi, 12,000. Ishakar, 12,000. Zebulon, 12,000. Joseph, 12,000. Benjamin, 12,000. And um, and when it comes to Joseph, it never really mentioned um. It 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 mentioned Manessa, which is also part of it, and the other one in the house of Joseph will be A.K.A. Ephraim, which will be the so-called uh, Puerto Ricans today, twelve thousand, right? Right, you that 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 I, I'm gonna call that. Um. I don't know, I, I, I'm always making stuff up, but that's basically like the concept of the draft. You want to be in a spiritual draft of the heavens, and you want to be one of those, one of those, one of those guys within the 12,000 or whatever tribe. I don't care. I don't care what tribe, because I'm not really sure if I'm Judah or not. I'm not really, my, 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 my father's background, um, me and my brothers believe, believe we're a northern tribe for the most part, but we, we we're Israelites. So we just, we just, we just only care that we're Israelites. But we we more than likely on a northern northern tribe perspective. I'm I'm not I, I know we're not Levi. I know we're not Benjamin, um, and I, I'm I'm not really sure if we're Judah. But it's, it looks more on a northern perspective. But hey, whatever, you know, you want to be on those one of those one of those guys within the twelve thousand or one of those tribes is the, is the is 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 the dream. And, and these and these guys' vibrations, man. Their vibrations, man, and their aura, and just you listen. When a hundred and forty-four thousand member walk up on the scene, you gonna know it's a hundred and forty-four thousand. Like it, bro, listen, di, yo, listen, yo, it's yo. When, when, when one of them, bro, I'm telling you, you gonna see Israelites, and they're gonna be on their own little special level. Don't get it twisted, because of Kasalaki. Hold on, hold on, real quick. It ain't just 144,000 will get delivered. Let me keep, if I keep on reading, it, it tells you, and after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations, kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clove with white robes and palms in their hands. They are also part of the elect. They are the they are the the, the women, men, women, and children. You know that's going to be delivered as well as the 144,000, and with them combined is the one third. The 144,000 and the, the 144,000 and men, women, and children to collectively is the one third. It's not it's not the one third and 144,000. It's the one third, which is the 144,000 in between. It. They're 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 also the one third, right? And these are other 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 Akim that's also part of the elect. Because when the 144,000 get beamed up in chariots, so will other men, women, and children get beamed up right along with them, which is called the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. Right? And and they're going to get beamed up too, and they're going to be on a high vibration too. Because you gotta remember to be beamed up as a first fruit, because 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 you're not part of 144,000. Don't think that. The first fruit when men, women, and child that does get beamed up as well. Oh, they're gonna be on a high ass level too, because they are the elect. Remember, the elect is all about the elect here of the nation of Israel. And the elect is going to be the dun data of the Israelites. And then you got and then you, you got your you got your uh the the, the, the the seeds through you got the two-third comeback through the loins of the elect, and they're gonna be on a high vibration, but not like the one, not like the one third. The one third is going to be on a different thing. You're going to know the difference between uh, 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 an elect one third and an uh, Israelite that was just that came out through the loins. Mind you, they're going to be immortal. They're going to have power, but it's going to be a total sight difference and a total thing going on. Like, okay, you one of those dudes, and oh, okay, Israelite. Okay, great, Israelite. God's chosen people. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, great. Well off. Everything is great. But then you're like, damn. Okay, you got a really nice single home with good land and, you know, single family home. You got five bedrooms and, you know, it's a really beautiful home. But then you got that big ass mansion over there 
that has a whole that's a whole situation like I said, you got you got a, a nice beautiful single family home up to about three hundred thousand maybe worth and then you got that mansion that's worth 50 million it's like a no it's like okay now like all right you living real good but damn that's the hundred and forty four thousand man I'm gonna do my best to make examples and you know bring the scriptures out because these dudes right here or I'm telling you, these going to be the, 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 the more, matter of fact, uh, what is that, um, uh, what is that, second address, um, second address two, and I'm going to start at, uh, let me see, uh, Okay, um, second address two starting at, forty-two. It says, I address saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh Shah with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. That's Yahweh Shah, right? It's, it's also it well it's it's it's, it's it's actually it's actually physically and spiritually uh twofold high stature meaning it's Yahweh Shah and we're under Yahweh Shah because he's the he's the the, the king of kings of Lord of lords and taller than all the rest staturally wise and I'm willing to bet he's also uh physically taller than their other brothers and that that just makes sense for Yahweh Shah to be able to stick out like a sore thumb like that as he as he as he um you know uh deserves you know to be you know, if you have a shot is taller than all the all the other brothers, that makes sense. And I, I, why not? Why not? Right. And it says, uh, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly. Right. Because. Um, oh, 44. So I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? Right. Because you got to look at it from the perspective. Man, listen, these these men are going to get crowns on their heads. And who knows how glorious them things going to look. Man, listen. These brothers, these 144,000 men, the elect, uh, probably also the uh, the other elect, uh, uh, the whole elect. But as far as 144,000, these brothers are going to get a crown put on to their heads by by the hands of Yahweh Shah, man. I gotta say that again. Yahweh Shah himself is gonna put a crown on your head, man. And who knows how, man? And, I, and I'm willing to bet you any of my money, the Lord, the Lord, good like this. Each crown that's gonna be put on a brother's head is going to mimic their style of the way they are. I, I'm telling you, every brother crown probably gonna be different, most likely, and it's gonna resemble. Who they are as a person, like, 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 I, it, I can't explain it. I, I just know that these crowns are going to be so crazy. These crowns are going to be like, yo, I can't believe it looked like that. Like, like, the, the, I don't know, gold and probably got crazy crystals. All man, listen, and it, and this crown that is going to look so. These crowns are going to be dope. Every brother getting a crown on their head for, as kings, man. Right. Given to him by the hands of Yahweh Shah. I believe Paul said that too. I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna find that. And it says, uh, he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. So not only not only are these brothers gonna get beamed up and a crown set on their heads, remember, these bodies that they, they they're gonna get are going to be the same makeup as Yahweh Shah. Remember, Isaiah 47 says, I would not meet thee as a man. And remember in 1 Corinthians the 15th chapter, it describes two different makeups. You got the celestial and the terrestrial. The celestial has its own glory and the terrestrial has its own glory. We know the terrestrial has to offer. It's the flesh. You know, you know, hey, you know, you know, in its own little way. If you build up and do your thing, kind of like similar to me, you know, you can make it look as good as it's gonna get. You know, but the flesh, and it ain't shit compared to celestial. Now, celestial, the celestial makeup, now that's the thing. Now, celestial is the is the one we're, we're looking for. Beautiful, perfect, 
angelical bodies. I mean, super young looking, no imperfections, mocha brown, pure probably skin, dark brown, who knows how the brown going to be. And it's going to be, it's, and, and it's going to be so perfect and special. Why? Because it has all the, all the law, statute and commandments of the scriptures built in. Which makes you holy and makes you immortal. Because you're what? Sin proof. If there's no sin, there's no need to die. Right? And it said they put on an immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is what they confessed. And now, and now are they crowned and receive palms, man. And we're doing this right now. We're confessing the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh we're glorifying in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. And we thanking the Lord for this ministry and his faith that we got that comes from Yahweh Bashem Yahusha through the Holy Spirit, man. The Rikak with Dash. And by continuing this, Lord willing, me and all the brothers who are sincere in this thing endure, man. Because if we do, oh, this going to be us. Right here. And it says, Then said I unto the angel, what young person is that crown of them and give and giveth them palms in their hands so he answered and said unto me it is the son of man the son, the son of yahweh whom they have confessed in the world which we're doing right now then began i greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of yahweh bashim yahweh because it's going to get this hour of temptation is going to come on the scene it's going to hit hard it's going to hit real hard and that test right there, man, you know, Lord will in 1 Corinthians 10 to 13 kick in where the Lord said he would test you, but he will also give you a way out. So that way, you, because he know, he know, he know that you, he's not going to put you through something that you can't, you can't uh, bear to stand. That's great about the Lord. Lord willing, you, we're part of that number to be in that lot. Because we endure, there's a crown, there's a crown um, in reserve right now. Probably in the heavens on some on a on a on a, a mana store or something, and it's uh, it's 144,000 crowns all laid up, all but brothers' names on it already. We just don't know. Lord willing, Lord willing, there's a crown up there for me, man. Like wow, like brothers, imagine this, man. Imagine being part of 144,000, and you literally one of those guys. Like you're one of those dudes. That will that will also mean it will it gets deeper. It will also mean you was with Yahweh Shah building this damn thing. You was with Yahweh Shah building the earth, man. Like that, 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 that fathom and then that fathom in your mind is very overwhelming. To 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 be considered like you're you're part of the hundred and four. When you walk around, you are going to be like Michael Jackson on steroids. Like, and that's low level to say that, but you get what I'm trying to say. And not only are you going to be like that in the earth. You want to be a celebrity around the universe. Everywhere you go, you're going to be noticed like, oh shit, there goes one of those guys. Because you got to remember, there's going to be millions and billions and billions of Israelites. And when you walk around, remember, you got 144,000 and you got a billion Israelites. Shit, let alone 2 million Israelites. You got to remember there's a there uh, out of a hundred thousand, you got nine hundred thousand more other people to to count to make a million. Nine hundred thousand by itself is a lot of people, and you and you make up a a, a a penny sized portion of millions and millions and millions of Israelites. And your and your hundred and forty four thousand position separates you a, across the whole universe, no matter where you go. Yo, there can very much be an Israelite that never seen one in 144,000 before. I mean, I'm not going to say that's going to really be the case. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, let's just say there's a family living on a distant planet or something. And they've heard about the special, the special elite men called the 144,000. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some, some children or people where, yo, I've never seen 144,000 brother, brother before. Or they might say, I've seen them on pictures or whatever type of, you know, technology in the kingdom is going to be so so advanced. It's, it's, it's hard to try to imagine how it will go because 
the concept of TV and maybe the concept of pictures and cameras conceptly wise will, will probably still exist in a spiritual, more uh, heavenly like way. Whereas though, yo, I've never seen 144,000 member in real, in person before, only on a, a picture on TV. That's how famous we gonna be. And then when one one pulls up, it's gonna be like, yo, autographs. It's gonna it's gonna be like, yo, I can I get a picture with you? It's gonna be some crazy. Matter of fact, um, uh, I read uh 48. Uh, then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell thy my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Right. So, so look at it like from that perspective. So he's telling Edris, like, listen, go tell my people the most beautiful things that you just saw. Because remember, he's seen it, further up the chapter to, goes into other other um, beautiful stuff or whatever. But he also saw 144,000 elect, and he thought that would be, and he, well, he marveled at looking at them. So if he marveled at looking at one of the at the hundred and forty four thousand getting crowned by Yahweh Shah, they must look crazy looking, man. There's something special about these about the elect that we're gonna look. I'm telling you, yo, I I I I uh I always would say this, and if you can receive this, men, the elect, are going to be on a a woman like beautiful level in the masculine looking body. I'm telling you, men are men. I'm telling you, yo, the way the Lord going to turn up. And mind you, this brothers that's not comely right now. You know, I, I'm, you know, I guess I'm considered, you know, you know, a little comely, little handsomely got type of guy. Okay, cool. But there's guys who who just don't got it, man. And through the spirit, it's just hey, you know, they gorgeous through the spirit. But maybe physically, bro, not every brother is, is is handsome looking. You know, some brothers is like you know, just part of the game. But I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you what though. I'm telling you, when these brothers, man, when the Lord turns up his men, I'm telling you, these brothers are going to be gorgeous. Like looking, like look, like looking at it. When you see a beautiful woman, you're like, God damn, that girl is amazingly beautiful. Yo, Israelite men are going to be gorgeous as shit in masculine looking bodies. I called it, I'm telling you, brothers, man, when a woman see an Israelite man, not only are we looking at them like they like, 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 like it's crazy, a woman will look at us and be dumbfounded like i can't believe he looked like that I'm telling you remember the lord said i will make a man more precious than fine gold man and gold look good as shit watch watch how men look spiritual bodies 144,000 elect full beards mocha brown skin no scars no tattoos physically in shape spiritually you don't gotta work out just probably you know Probably five to probably zero zero percent body fat, but it just looked good on them because it's a spiritual body. Man, I'm telling you, man. Yo, to be one of these brothers, man. Hey, listen, yo. That's why I'm gonna call this video "Spiritual Thoughts on 144,000." Man. Oh my gosh, man. You gotta the 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 the, the, the king the the, the the kingdom shit that's gonna be going on. I don't know if that's a word. You know, sitting on a throne. Brothers, man, listen, think about this. Think about being part of the 144,000 and you sitting on your throne and you got like women around. There's, it, it, you probably got a waterfall in your dwelling. You know what I mean? You know, access to all types of manner of jewelry, kids running around, got a pet lion on the side. Like, what's up, dog? You, you, you know what I mean? Like, jewelried all up. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Slaves around. Hey, yo, man. And you on a throne, chilling, calling the shots in your own kingdom. You got to remember. And like the one brother, uh, Kazak, was talking about, man. It, yo, every brother's kingdom is going to be totally different. It's going to be like, it, yo, being in another brother's dwelling is going to be like go into a different world. Like you literally and you literally entering into the in, in a, you really enter, uh, entering another brother's mind. His imagination is different from yours. When you go to a different brother's dwelling, it's going to be like entering into a different world every time. Like you're not going you're not going to think you want to planet Earth no more. You're like, yo, where the fuck am I at? Like, yo, this brother's this brother's dwelling. There ain't no mansion. We're gonna have an entire like area, like you know what I'm saying. Like brother's gonna be living, like bro, you're not gonna see another brother 
in order to see a brother, you got to teleport to him, uh, uh, telepathically talk to him. Or you got to fly your chariot to get to another brother because there's not going to be no neighbors. Ain't going to be no neighbors in the kingdom. I mean, maybe if you want to, but no, ain't going to be no neighbors in the kingdom. Brother's going to be spread out. It's going to be like, yo, you, like you, like you, you can run 50 miles before you see another, another, another brother. Cause they could, cause you own 50 miles worth of land. I'm just making it up. And then all gold, everything gold going to be, man, gold going to be the new semen. And you a king. Imagine being 144,000 in your dwelling. You flying through, flying through the world, through the world. And then I, I got told brothers, I'm gonna have a launching pad, kind of like Iron Man, to get to my dwelling. And in order, in order to get to me, you gotta know how to fly. So if you can't fly, you can't get there. So maybe, maybe I probably telepathically use slaves and levitate them into my dwelling. And they'll never, they'll never see inside my dwelling. They'll see a big ass door made with all type of manner of jewelry. I was making it all up. And I am thinking low level. At the end of the day, though, I'm a, you, you gonna be a king, man. Woo. Listen, brothers. Being a part of the 144,000 or nothing. Real rap, like yo. I, my, the way my brother said it, man. It, I just get it, man. And I meditate. I meditate on spiritual power and being a ruler like that, man. Being a 144,000 ruler. Just, just the shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you the sh like. What's this? Uh, the book of um Isaiah. L listen to this, man. Listen, l l Isaiah 60, 60 and fifteen. It says, "Whereas thou has been forsaken and hated, because right now we're fishers of men. Right now, you know, we're through the spirit, the kingdom, and hundred forty-four thousands within us, and it'll be elevated when Yahweh Shah come back." It says, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Can you imagine, man? Can you imagine being an eternal excellency and you're a joy for many generations? Now, remember, the elect, is, it, it compiles a lot, but I'm telling you. But think of, think of the joy of many generations as 144,000. Listen, I used to want to play football for all the wrong reasons, but through the spirit, actually it ain't for the wrong reasons anymore because now my dream has revamped itself. I used to want to uh play play football not only because I was so good at it. Um and I understand why I didn't go to the NFL. I had NFL talent and the Lord said no, and I totally see why I was meant to do this work. If I was a two-third, I probably would have went to the NFL. Probably would have. I, I no doubt about it. I probably would have went to the NFL because I was willing to. I, I probably would have been willing to do the things in order to get there because I, you know, and I wouldn't have been in the truth. So it'd have been, you know, the prosperity of the wicked probably. Uh, but the Lord didn't let me go because of this, and I, and that's, and I'm thankful for that because because why? Not only was I good at it, I loved the glory, right? Glory, um, status, um, 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 uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, you know, recognition, status, recognition, and also, uh, you know, just feeling like. You know, I'm the motherfucking man. When you know, what I mean? you know how like you was a if you like Adrian Peterson, if you're Peyton Manning or so, and you walk into a bar and they recognize you, they're gonna be like, oh shit, it's Peyton Manning, and they want they want to give you an autograph and all that. They want to take pictures with you, aka a joy of many generations, right? Well, then I got into the truth and I was like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? I gotta let those things go because you know what I mean. Then I, then, 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 then when you get into the scriptures, it's like, yo, the Lord gonna turn you up, and then that's that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be, you're gonna be status. Gonna be there. That was well, that was one of my dreams. Why I wanted to play football. Well, it's coming back on a spiritual level in the kingdom. Status, wealth, uh, loved by many, and and I'm the motherfucking man. And and there's going to be spiritual pride in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because the pride in the kingdom is going to be in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's okay to take pride in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because we're going to glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the kingdom for what he has done for us, man. So you're going to take pride in that. And, and then when you walk around heathen, yeah, yeah, it's cool to be prideful. Fucking right. Why not? Brothers can receive this. Being pride on this side, hell no. But pride in the kingdom, fucking right. Walk by the heathen like, nigga, what? I'm the motherfucking shit. So yeah, there's going to be spiritual pride in the kingdom. We're gonna remember everything they did to us. You're gonna be 144,000 with pride, pride through Yahweh Shah on a spiritual level to walk around like I made it. I'm part of the elect. I'm the motherfucking man now. Look at me now. Take pride in that shit and give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Shah who set you up like that.
That's where the pride will lie at. That's where that's where I'm going with it. Right there. Ain't no Esau pride. There's but there will be pride in the kingdom for sure. Oh yeah, there'll be pride against the heathen and and against the heathen and and, and which you have established. I'm I'm damn sure going to take pride in, in in my dwelling. I'm gonna take pride in my slaves. I'm gonna take pride in the fact that I, I made it and the Lord blessed me. Oh absolutely, I'm gonna take pride in that. You know what I mean? Now that's we gonna take pride in. Other than that though, all my dreams that I ever wanted on this side has came back. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I ain't gotta play football for it. I could do the I could do the work. I could do the work and get it 10 times, 50, 50 times over. Status, money, women, and fucking feeling like the motherfucking man, glory, and being a praise on the earth. You know what I mean? Those are my spiritual thoughts, man. On the kingdom on 144,000, man. You know what? And also, man, like like I said, brothers, I'm always in the, I'm in a comfort perspective. You know, I'm I, my lot seems to be my videos are, are always in a comfort perspective to keep brothers to keep on going, man. Because because every, everything I'm talking about, which is obviously low level as far as my imagination, but what, what what I'm talking about through the scriptures is here. We about to see what that be like. Oh shit. Being a part of 144,000 is very near approaching to see what that be like. Because I'm trying to see what that be like. And I know you brothers who are sincere in this thing want to see what that be like. Oh, man. Can you imagine being part of 144,000 and you dapping up your house shy like, what's up, Brody? I ain't said the word Brody in a very long time. But what's up, bro? And, and dapping up your house shy and chilling with your house shy. Drinking wine with your house shy. Being able to see your house straight up like, What? And it's never going to get old. Can you imagine being worthy enough to actually look at your hour? Like that, oh, like, oh, shit, that's your hour. Like, oh, like the heavenly father, the, the highest of the highest, the ancient of days. Bro, to, to stand before your hour, bro. Man, listen, man, look, that's... Man, man, look. I, I would love that honor, man. Let alone Yahweh Shah. That's even that's already bad by itself. We're gonna see Yahweh Shah first. But being able to stand in front and look at Yahweh, like wow, there he goes. This is how he looks. Wow, that's Yahweh. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Oh shit. You know what I mean? It's hard to fathom. It's very overwhelming to know that if you part of that number, you're gonna be able to stand in front of Yahweh. Well, your house shy, man. Drinking wine with your house shy, man. Let alone your house. Just being in the presence and just enjoying the, the, the glory and the moment that you in front of these special entities. That's our power. And look how beautiful and special we going to be. And we got it from them? Bro. Mm. Hey, man. Man, 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 man. I'm ooh we. Stay strong, brothers, man. This is supposed to be comfort for you, brothers, man. This is my spiritual thoughts on 144,000. Lord willing, me and all you sincere brothers is in this thing, man. Pray to the Lord, Thwada, Thwada, Thwada. And not for me, for yourselves, that you actually believe in this ministry, man. We believe on everything I just said. We believe that shit. Can you imagine all the jakes that don't believe a word we got to say? And the glory and the magnificence of being 144,000, let alone the kingdom, spiritual powered whole nine. When you really think about it, and you say this to a random ass jake, they're going to be like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And I understand. I understand. Because this is the most beautiful stuff, and it's like a movie fictional book or something. And I get it on, on, with their carnal mind that they don't have the truth and, and, the, and, the, and the faith to believe. I get it. Because the things we talking about and the things we're looking forward to is out of this world, man. Being part of 144,000 is out of this world. It's, it's, it's so far you can think about, man. It's, understand, it's hard to understand to believe something like this. And we wholeheartedly do. Mm -mm -mm. Call law, Yahab, Bashim, I'll right this side, brothers, man. Lord willing, this is edifying to you, brothers, man. It's my spiritual thoughts. I just want you, I just want to comfort you, brothers, to keep going strong, man. Just keep it going, man. Pray to the Lord for, for just diligence to keep on going because we are about to see what that be like.
I will give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, Yahweh. He is to be exists. By Shem in the name and the only begotten Son and Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name and the Holy Spirit of Akak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Lord from GMS. Listen to the Akimah their preaching his word, with horror to sincerity. Listen to 144,000 one third, entirely the first fruits kingdom of heaven. Also, David, the Biafda would die, which, which, oh man, I, oh, I would love to be a part of that number. And um, shout out to you brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shout out to you brothers.